I'm Chaya Rivka Zwolinski, and this is BRIBreastLove.org. We've just completed the period between Passover to Shavuot, Sefirat HaOmer, in which we don't engage in certain practices that are celebratory because it's a period of mourning. One of those activities that we don't engage in is listening to music. I find this very difficult. I enjoy listening to music. I play music and I sing, at, at least in the privacy of my own home. And the first thing I do every year after Shavuot, or at least as soon as possible, is get out an instrument, start to play, start to put music on, dance, sing, anything to refresh my spirit. Music is the language of the soul. And Rebbe Nachman emphasizes in many places in his teachings the importance and value of music to the soul. Music uplifts the soul, especially if it's from a source that's holy. And the Rebbe speaks of the importance of listening to music that comes from a place of kedusha, holiness, and connection, and trying to avoid music that comes from a dark place, a negative place, even if the songs are holy, they can still be depressing and mournful. And the Rebbe says, don't listen to those songs too much. Don't bring yourself down because music uplifts us and it's a way of spiritually connecting to the Creator with joy. Breslov Nagunam are notoriously upbeat. Many are in major keys. And they do something to our souls. They bring us joy, hope, and positivity. There are other beautiful, joyful, and positive melodies out there and other types of music that can be conducive to a connection with Hashem. And we should use that music as a tool to help lift us out of gloom and doom and depression and angst. So grab an instrument or grab an MP3 and listen to some music today. May you have a day of holy Nigunum. <laughs>